everyone, in this video, we're going to solve Gay Lussac's Law's problem. So here's the formula. So P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2 at constant boy. So let's begin number one. This is the number one problem. Number one, August has a pressure of 600 millimeters mercury and at 40 degrees Celsius at what is the temperature at standard pressure so we need to find the final temperature which is T2 so let's begin so in P1 we have a uh, is a number one right so P1 is equals to 699 millimeters mercury 699 millimeters mercury and then a temperature which is 40 degrees celsius which is temperature 1 40 degrees celsius at plus 273.15 kelvin which is 300 13.15 Kelvin and the temperature 2 which is unknown and the uh, pressure 1 which is standard so in 1 ATM is it a standard rate the standard pressure so we meaning STP so STP Meaning 1 ATM, there is a millimeters mercury here. So 1 ATM equals 760 millimeters mercury. Okay, that is a temp uh, pressure to 760 millimeters mercury. Okay, let's begin. This is a solution. Solution. So there's a formula is. P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. So, P1 over T, T1 equals to P2 over T2. So, let's solve T2. So, we need to cross multiply. So, P1 times T2 is equals to P2 times T1. So, we need to divide both sides by P1 and then cancel out P1 and then T2 is equals to P2 times T1 over P1 and then T2 is equals to the pressure 2 which is the standard pressure which is 760 millimeters mercury. So, 760 millimeters mercury times temperature 1 which is 313.15 kelvin so it's 313.15 kelvin and divide both sides by pressure 1 which is 699 millimeters mercury so 699 millimeters mercury so cancel out millimeters mercury and the left is kelvin so temperature 2 is equals to 760 divided by uh, times 313.15 divided by 699 so it's 340 equals 340.47 Kelvin and you need to convert into degrees Celsius so 340.47 Kelvin minus 273.15 Kelvin and then T2 is equals to 340 minus 273.15 equals to 
0.32 degrees Celsius. So this is your final answer. Okay, did you get it? And how about in um, problem number two? In problem number two, if a gas is cold from 323 Kelvin to 273.15 Kelvin, and the volume is kept constant, what is the final pressure would result if the original pressure was 750 millimeters mercury? So we need to find the final pressure again. So in number two, so the temperature one, which is T one is equals to how much? This is a T one, and this is T two. T one equals three hundred. 23 Kelvin and temperature 2 which is 273.15 Kelvin and and there is a pressure 1 here there is a pressure 1 with 750 millimeters mercury so pressure 1 equals 750 millimeters mercury and the unknown, which is the pressure too. Okay, the solution. Solution. So we use again a formula. P1 over T1 is equals to P2 over T2. So cross multiply again. So P1 times T2 is equals to P2 times T1. So we need to get the P2, so divide both sides by T1, again, T1, then cancel out T1, so equals pressure 2, P1, T2 over T1, so that's it, so P2 is equals to how much pressure 1 again, the pressure 1 which is 750, 50 millimeters mercury here 750 millimeters mercury times the temperature 2 which is 273.15 Kelvin so it's 273.15 Kelvin over the, tem uh, the temperature 1 which is 323 Kelvin so 323 Kelvin so you need to cancel out Kelvin first and left is the pressure which is millimeters mercury so 750 times 273.15 divided by 323 equals to 634.24 millimeters mercury so that's it this is your final answer right these are the gay lusak's problem so let's continue in Avogadro's law so please like and subscribe 